Hey, how's everyone doing? Peace. Hewitt's Hot Wheels. Well, I want to show you some cars real quick. I got a few I'm going to open. They're older ones, but like I said, you guys done got me doing some things that I never did before. And uh, I always kept them in the package, but boy, it is fun opening them things, I must say. Um, so I'm going to open them, and that wooden shelf back there is where I got my open 164 at for now. Uh, I'm probably going to have to build something to put those in. Maybe something neat looking. I don't know. But, uh, I, I gotta do, I'm gonna do something. But anyway, sorry I missed, uh, Derek's live stream the other night. I think it was last night. But I was working. Kitchen sink plumbed, plugged up. And, uh, I got this hair sticking straight up. Well, Oh well, he's gonna have to call me Alfalfa. Anyway, um, and I had to fix that. And it was a chore, man. I didn't finish till just a couple hours ago. It, uh, see that hole right up here? I had to cut a hole in my sheetrock so I could get to the line and cut it. It was plugged, full of muck. I guess about 14 years of being here. I don't know how it got so full of muck. But it went all the way from the hole all the way this way to the main drain. And then it went that way to the kitchen. And the kitchen's about 15 feet that way. The plug was about 6, 7 feet full that way. And about 8 feet this way. Which is another... 16 feet to the drain so that thing was full of a lot of muck and a rooter snake wasn't doing it so it was a disaster man i had to cut the line right there get it all out had to cover up all my cars with plastic crap blew out everywhere it was a nightmare anyway finally got it fixed saved no you know plumbers are not cheap that probably would have cost me shoot a grand or Grand, I don't know, more than I wanted to spend. I bought a couple snakes, a coupling to patch where I cut the line, and uh, flushed it all out myself. Took care of it real good. Anyway, let's get this going. I just got some cars in the mail yesterday, and I found a few at the store. And uh, like I said, I'm going to open a few. But anyway, um, while I was there yesterday, I grabbed, there was like four of these Subarus. So I had an extra one, but I gave it away to a really good guy. And uh, so I grabbed a couple more. I mean, there was four on the rack, so I didn't really feel bad. And uh, I, um, I'll probably keep an extra one, but I'm not sure I have one. But I know somebody might want one. If not... This will probably be laying here and eventually end up on my site unless somebody comes by and says they want it. Who knows? My grandson may see it sitting there and snag it. I don't know. Oh, and I also found one of these. I didn't have an extra one of the uh, Lancia Delta Integrale. I don't know. Uh, that's a lot of salami right there, no? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what that is, but... Uh, Lancia Delta Integrale. Anyway, that's pretty cool looking out there. Look at that. The Michelin man on it. I like that kind of stuff. And the car looks pretty cool too, I think. I've already got one, but I grabbed me an extra one. And I'm going to be honest, I didn't grab it for anybody else. I grabbed it for myself. Although, somebody may come by, see it, and talk me right out of it. But, you know, that's what they're for. But then I got this in the mail. As you know, I like M2s. I got the Desert Fox. Finally came in. Pretty cool little truck. Some of you guys may have already got yours. Or you didn't even want it. But I like, I'm, I'm a big time Gasser fan. Um, 62 Chevys. I, I mean, I like all the 62 Chevys. And uh, I like the Square Bodies. Those are probably my, you know, some of my top favorites. But right after those comes all diecast. So what can I say? But 
I think that's a pretty cool looking truck. And I don't know if any of you know, but I don't know if you remember the Colonel Square Body. You know, the real popular M2 came out, oh, last year. The beginning of last year, was it? Or the end of the year before? But that thing skyrocketed. I mean, I got I got my first one for $7.95. And then my second one, uh, you know what? It's hard to say. I think I might have paid $16.95 for it. But, uh. But you couldn't get them. They're, they're, they went through the roof. There was, no, I mean, there, nobody had them. Nobody had them anywhere. And uh, I had one left. And I put it on my site, and that just sold last week. And uh, somebody in New Mexico scored it. Came across it. I guarantee he was surprised to see it because there was none. There was none anywhere. Well, anyway, there's a new, um, I think it's Sergeant Square Body, except this one has a bed on it. Colonel Square Body didn't have a bed on it. And a, I think it's sergeant or corporal. Dang it, I should look it up. But I've got, I ordered me two of them. And, uh, um, cause they're gonna skyrocket too. And I got them for $7.95 a piece. Pretty good deal on it. And, uh, I got one I'll hang up. And, uh, if nobody I know around here wants it, I'll be putting the other one on my site. And, uh, and, and it'll, it'll probably, you know, I'd probably put it on there for 10 bucks. Who knows? I don't know, man. I just have to see. I, I half expect somebody's going to want it, so I'll probably be giving it away. Or, Actually, a lot of times people that I know, if if occasionally, you know, they, I can give them a Hot Wheel or so. They don't feel too bad about that. And sometimes they'll go ahead and give me a dollar back for it anyway. But a lot of times I can get them to accept a Hot Wheel. But things like this, they always seem to want to at least give me back my money. So, I, you know, I let them. I don't want to make them feel bad. But uh, that may happen. I don't know, so I can't, but anyway, um, I don't know if these, they still have any, but if you guys are interested, I, I ordered them at um, Diecast Direct, or Direct Diecast, I think it's Diecast Direct or Direct Diecast, but it, I mean, they're not even scheduled to come in till June, and I'll be honest, a lot of times they're late, it may be July or August before I get that, Diecast Metal Wholesale, or Diecast Model Wholesale, they'll get there sooner, they're a little bit more money, like that's seven ninety five. He's probably going to want ten ninety five, and uh, and that's now. Once they come in, he's going to skyrocket too. He's going to be one twenty bucks for them because they're going to sell like hotcakes as well. But anyway, I want to tell you, I don't know if they've already sold out because they sell out quick. But if you're interested in trying to get you one for seven ninety five or something, go to Diecast Direct and put your order in while you can. And you may not get it till you know June or July, but at least you won't pay them crazy prices. And uh, and I also got, and I didn't know I ordered, but I ordered two of these. Got the Twinkies. Little Twinkies V-Dub in yesterday. And I, I I guess I ordered two. I thought I only ordered one. Just like the Desert Fox here. I only ordered one. But there was two in the box, so apparently I ordered two. And uh, I thought that was pretty cool looking little. You know, I should have done this with my phone. It shows such a better picture. This just doesn't really do that well. But you've probably seen it. Pretty cool little Volkswagen. And uh, I I collect these. I don't get them all. But I collect a lot of these bigger trucks. I got them up there. I'll show them to you someday. But look, I found me a bone shaker. Cool one. Got wood grain on it. Some stickers up there. Chrome engine. I really don't like the yellow and green engines and stuff like that. And I'm not real super on the teal. Turquoise, whatever. But it looks okay with that. And it's a bone shaker. Because that's another one of my favorite cars is the bone shaker. Pretty cool. So I grabbed one picked her up yesterday all right so that's all I really picked up and uh, I got like I said I had some cars I wanted to open and uh, I wanted to open that 70 Dodge Power Wagon it uh I don't know it's a pretty cool truck I don't I know you guys have already seen it but 
I wanted to bust her on out and put her on my shelf. Look at that baby. I don't pay no attention to that phone. I don't. I got a phone, a landline, so I can use it to call people. I didn't really get it to answer calls when people call me, sorry. That's what's good about the cell phone. You can get a text message, you know. It's probably one of my daughters anyway. My wife will pick it up upstairs. They don't want to talk to me. They're looking for her. Pretty cool little Dodge truck, I think. And then this one. I know you remember this one. I like it. I like square bodies. And, uh, I actually, I ended up, I think I ended up with like five of these. Well, I had like six. I gave away, I kept two. I got one hanging up. I got this one. And I gave away two. And I still got some on my site. Like two, maybe three. But uh, at first you couldn't find them. And then, you know, I, there was one day I went and there was like, shoot, 15 of them. And I grabbed like six. Well, look at that. I think that's just a sharp truck. It says challenge on the side. I mean, that baby is just sweet, man. Look at that. I like it. And of course, it's got them wheels I like. I mean, I like those wheels. I don't know why. They're simple, but I like them. I think it'd look cool if they had the silver on the spoke as well as the red rim or maybe even the red. But it looks cool like it is. I'm happy. But look at that paint, man. And like you guys said, you got me hooked on this. Once you take them out of the package, man, they just they just pop to light. I mean, that baby is sweet. Of course, it's one of the arts cars, so it's got the, the G on top. Exhaust pipes. Look at them. It's got the exhaust tips. That's gnarly, man. That's just cool. That is a sweet truck. I got to put it on my shelf. So, yeah. Um... Got me going on that stuff. I mean, what can I say? And, of course, this one. I got to open the 57 Chevy Rod Squad. This is the one I told you I wanted the super bad. I seen uh, Hot Wheels. Dang it. I hate when I can't remember the names. Get them right. You know, I don't want to insult a guy. Hot Off the Wheels. I want to say Hot Off the Wheels. Man, he went into a Dollar, dollar General. I watched probably... I know at least two different videos he walked in a Dollar General and found this in the bin. And uh, it's like, dude, lucky, man, just, just just lucky. But hey, that's what it takes. I mean, I don't know how many times he went there, you know. But I keep checking. I ain't found it yet, but you never know. But I really, I wanted that Super. That's just my kind of car right there. But, but like you said, I mean, you guys are right. Look at that. I'm always looking at them like that going, man, that's nice. Once I busted them out of the package... It's like, whoa, <laughs> that's nice. And uh, I just don't, you know, I just got to find a way to keep them inside something because I don't want to spend all the time dusting them off. As a matter of fact, this looks like the same. I don't know if it was the Rod Squad, but this looks like the same body Derek just done that massive polish job on was this car right here. And when he gets done with that, I bet it's going to look awesome. Pretty sure it's the one he was talking about doing in the... Uh, the green, um, just just lost my mind. Uh, Spectra, Spectra Flame or Spectra Paint. That's going to look awesome. But I'm pretty sure it was that car. That body, anyway. But I like that car. I think the Super looked good, too. It's just got all the riding on it. Just cool looking car, man. El Segundo, California. Fuel injection. Whoops, I'm sorry. I'm holding it down here. Taking all the fun from myself reading it. Look at that. See, you probably can't even read them. This camera is not doing so hot. I'm going to have to do something about my camera. There's some guys out there. I mean, Marky. Ah, man, that guy's camera is awesome. He could, I'd say you could look at the cars on his thing and his videos and see everything, man. Anyway, I'm going to open that one. 
That baby's sweet. I like her. I gotta take a drink of water, guys. Ah, oh, sorry, man. I've been working all day. And it's just thirsty, thirsty. And then, uh, I got, I got this Queen of Hearts. Remember it? I love that baby too, man. She is just awesome. Look at that. 56 Ford F100. Look at that. I, when I first saw that. And it took me a while to find this one. It kept going off the pegs. And then scalpers were wanting, you know, up to $10 for the baby on online. And uh, I finally found a few. And of course, just like I knew, look at that. Once you take it out of the package, boy, man, that is just sweet. Look at that. I mean, maybe it doesn't do it for you guys, but man, it is gnarly to me. Look at that. I just love that. That's why I need that new treasure hunt. The Jack, because I got the King and the Queen. I'm going to open the King, too, the Super Van. Look at that. Man, I love it. I just... I wish it, you know, man, it's like a nice fresh chocolate chip cookie. Just want to gobble it up. Man, that is just... Look at that. Huh. Got to put her on the shelf, man. Got to do it. And then, of course, like I said, I got the Super Van. King of Hearts. Oh, it's okay. It's pretty cool looking and all. I like vans. It's a pretty cool little van. And, uh... But, I really like that other one. But this one was the King of Hearts, so I had to... I had to add it to the to the card game. That's why I need to find that jack. I would didn't care that I, it's a treasure hunt, cool, but I wanted it regardless. I got I want to keep them going, you know. But it's pretty cool. You know, the top's just got the the ace on it, which it looks cool too. Doesn't look as good as the, you know, back of the deck of cards there but it still looks good i like it it's pretty sweet hopefully i find the jack put her over there and i only got two more i want to open right now and uh one i have the blue jerry rig but i also have this gray one and i want to open this this gray one this jerry rig gas once again, I like the gassers, man. And uh, anything I got here, I've still got hanging up in a package. I remember when the blue one came out, I just had to have it. The light blue. Looked everywhere for it. Had a hard time getting it. Finally got a few. But then this one, I just like it better. It's like it's, it's primered or something. Which reminds me of, you know... A lot of what went on in the 70s and 80s, man. A lot of people just get a 69 Camaro, 60 Primer out, and uh, throw some, you know, decals on her and hit the strip. That's what this reminds me of. I had a cousin who was big time into the 68, 69, 67 Camaros. He always had one, one way or another. A bunch of them. That's pretty cool. Yeah, I thought he was one cool cat. Well, he was. He was a cool cat back then. He kind of old now, like me. Except he's older. I like that car. One more. And this one I thought was sharp, too. The Nissan 300ZX Twin Turbo Police. Of course, it's got them wheels on it again. But that one just looks T-tops. I mean, I loved that one too. Which this one came out a couple years ago too, I think. Or was it the L case? Might have been the L case last year. Seems like it was the year before. But regardless, here it is. 
And again, once you take it out of the package, whoa. Just sweet, man. Tampo's on the back. Look at that. Yeah, that's that's something that you know I don't have. I got one super. Um, it's a, uh, it's the Street Creeper. I think it came out three years ago, and I bought a case that had uh, the Bone Shaker ID in it, the green one. That's it. That's all I got. But my point was, every a lot of times when I see a super and they didn't even put tampos or something on it, it's like. Why do you do that? Why don't you, I mean, why do you call that a super? Why don't you call it a pooper? I mean, put some, put something on it. Make it worth, worth its while. Not just the paint job. But that's just me, you know. I mean, I get it. But yeah, that's a cool looking car, man. I mean, I know it's the cops again. Because like I said before, I like them cop cars. I don't know why. I don't like them chasing me down and messing with me, but. I definitely don't mind the the car. Looks cool. Right on. So there they are. Those are the six, seven. I'm gonna put up there on the shelf, and I gotta build something because I don't like dust getting all over them. It just annoys me. I'm down there wiping them off all the time because once you let it build up, man, you can't hardly get it off without it leaving some kind of etching. I mean, I got cars that have been in a case. Some of my G machines over there I bought 15 years ago, never, never been out. They went straight in the case. Those things are immaculate. You take them out, there ain't a speck of dust anywhere. It's, it's, it, I mean, it's so weird how that works. Just leave it out and let some dust get on it. And even though you clean it, it's still like it etched it or something. It leaves a trail. But that truck, I love that truck, man. Look at that hood. I just, that's what I wanted. I don't think you saw the hood earlier. Just cool. Yeah, that's gnarly. It's a it's a dude's face. It's like a I can't see that well, but some somebody's face. I don't know, man. Anyway, pretty cool. Just wanted to show you. I was gonna open them, and I was like, man, I want to show opening them, cause uh, I mean, at least I could trouble you guys to watch them since you guys ones got me to do it. Well, I mean, and I admit, it's fun, but uh, I don't know that I want to start uh, trying to modify these things and, and do all that. I, I can't see that. I, I'd, have to have, I'd have to have one of them helmets with the big magnifying glass and the, all the robot hands. There. I'm, I'll just stick with staring at them like this. Anyway, thanks, guys, and... Uh, I uh, apologize for, like I said, there's a lot of videos, guys. I kept seeing them come out on my phone. You know, new video, new video. Twice Diecast had one come out and several other people, you know. Rapid Nismos just came out, which I caught his and uh, just a little while ago. But um, I'll try to get to your videos. I mean, I'm, I want to make sure I see them. I, I watch them all the time anyway. But I've just got so many to catch up on now because, man, this thing is... That drain tied me up from uh, yesterday. Again, don't worry about that phone. Um, probably around 2 o'clock till today. Around 2.30, 3 o'clock. So it, it was a chore. And, uh, you know, one of these days that phone's going to be calling to tell me I just won millions of dollars. And because I don't answer it, I'm going to continue to be working down at the welding shop. <laughs> oh, well. Y'all take it easy, man. Thanks for watching my video. And again, thanks to everybody who subscribes and, and likes the cars as much as I do. Like I said, I was it's so gnarly how many people out there are into cars. For the longest, I didn't even tell people I collect cars, you know. I just kept to myself. And uh, then I, you just see how many people actually do it. And you're like, what? You you, you got Hot Wheels? You, you collect cars? You mean you like Johnny Lightning? You got some green lights? Dude, you know. Oh, and there's a kid at work. He's got a bunch of uh, Hot Wheels from the 90s he collected, all in packages. He said he got sets of, of things. He's not sure what they are, but he wants to show them to me and see if I'm interested. Well, I told him I'll look at them, but 
you know, like I said, I'm not the kind of guy who wants to rip you off. So I, I told him that he should really see what he's got and look online first and see what they're worth because I don't want to, you know, I don't want to give him two, three bucks for a car or maybe five and turn around and find out worth 50 bucks or something. And, you know, and anyway, I'm going to see what he's got. He might have some pretty cool stuff. And uh, I'll get what I like and I'll show it to you. But um, other than that, Y'all take it easy, and again, thanks to everybody who's been subscribing, watching, and commenting. I'm uh, really glad, and I'll talk to y'all later. Take it easy, man. Peace.